Whitey Karofsky, Max Lanier, Eddie Wakus, and Johnny Vandermeer. Once the draft has run, or any time you change your roster with pitchers, you can change the pitching rotation. Here we'll go to the dugout menu, slide down to pitching rotation, and the window opens, and you'll see a lot of written instructions, which are, of course, very important. And you'll see the five slots for a five-man rotation. Click any of these slots, and the names of pitchers will appear who have a starting rating. Then you can go ahead and click any of those and select them. Of course, you'll need five different pitchers in that rotation. With that five-man rotation, you also have some other options. You could use an ace option. It's explained below. We could, uh, as often as possible, use that number one starter. We can also manually set the pitcher for each upcoming game. We'll see that later. Once you're satisfied, you can go ahead and click Save Pitching Rotation, and those five pitchers will rotate through in a five-man rotation. It's important to remember that this will override any manually set pitching rotation once you go toggle back and forth. Now we're going to go ahead and set our bullpen assignments. This is another important part of being a dugout manager. In the bullpen, every uh, aspect from the bullpen in general down to each individual type of reliever is outlined with written instructions. If a pitcher is not listed as one of the roles in your bullpen, that pitcher will not be used unless you have a series of injuries that will force the computer manager to use them. Here we're going to start with our closers. and You've got the option of closers and setup men versus left and right handed batters. So we're going to uh, select Don Carmen here. And every pitcher is available in this particular uh, menu. You can go ahead and slide down to any one of these folks and set them individually. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Remember Whitehead was originally one of our starting pitchers and we're moving him into a relief role. And uh, how often these pitchers are used as we go ahead and continue selecting is in team instructions. You can also adjust them in individual player instructions. Team instructions and player instructions are in another video, but they adjust how in a game situation you would, how quickly you would keep or remove uh, an individual pitcher or indeed in an overall team, pinch hit and so forth. Here we're moving after our setup men into our long relievers. And uh, again, starters and relievers can be used in these roles. And uh, we're moving back and forth. You can set a, a pitcher up in multiple roles in the bullpen so that in the game situation, your computer manager, uh, as a game is being run, has some options. And here we're moving into our mop-up folks, those who come in in uh, uh, games which are ostensibly out of hand or where there's a big uh, lead. And injury replacement starters. This is an important one in case one of your starters in that five-man rotation that we set or in when you manually set uh, a pitcher you need to have someone in that role. And then we can go ahead uh, back and adjust. And this can be done any time, just like any, any of the assignments in the Dugout Manager. You could do this three times a day. Uh, you can set it and go. When you're ready, click Save Bullpen Settings, and your pitching rotation and your bullpen are set, at least for now. Great. Heidi Karofsky, Max Lanier, Eddie Wakus, and Johnny Vandermeer. Bob Estalea, Van Lingo Mongo.